Hey everyone, I'm SimSweetie and welcome to the first installment of Mod Reviews Monday. This is a new series I am bringing to my channel where I review mods on Mondays because that's an alliteration and I've seen some other mod reviews in the simming community and I thought that sounds like a fun thing to do so every Monday I will be reviewing a mod or two if you guys would like to suggest some mods that you would like to see reviewed then you can go ahead and comment them down below or you can tweet them at me the link to my Twitter is in the description as always but in these videos I will be scoring the mods for a couple of different criteria and I'll be scoring them from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst and 10 being the best. So the criteria I will be kind of reviewing them on is the website actually that you download them from, how safe is the website, how easy is the website to navigate, and the next thing is the appearance of the mod if it is like an object. Obviously if it's a interaction or whatever then you're, it doesn't really have an appearance. The functionality, so basically does it work, does it do what it says it does. The usefulness, how often will it really be used in my gameplay, so this is more kind of a personal thing for me. And the overall rating, so just everything kind of together, what I think of the mod. And the last thing is, will I keep it in my game? Do I like it enough to keep it in my game, or am I going to take it out? But, I mean, it means you still might like it, but just will I think I'm going to use it enough. So, that is what the criteria is that I will be reviewing the mods on in this episode. I don't know what I'm calling it yet, but in this episode, I will be reviewing two mods because they're both kind of smaller mods, so I think we should go ahead and get on into that. Do excuse the fact that it's a little empty. We're in new crests and I didn't bother placing a bunch of lots. So the first mod I will be going over is called the Fun Gain from Hot Tubs. It's created by Simmy the Sim on Mod the Sims. It makes your Sims gain fun when they go in the hot tub. And if you have ever had the problem of your Sims going out of the hot tub, then I believe this should fix it. So we're gonna have everyone get on in the hot tub because before your Sims wouldn't gain fun from it, so they would just get out of the hot tub. And I have experienced that a lot. And actually in one of SimGuru Graham's tweets, he said that they're working on fixing that in a future update. But since that update is not out yet, I figured this would be a good substitute for the time being. So they're all good. And I will put the links to these mods in the description if you would like to download them. As you can see, the fun is already going up, so they are probably going to be staying in the hot tub. According to the mod description, it says, this adds a fun gain of 72 per hour to Sims sitting in the hot tub. And this obviously, you do need a perfect patio to make it work because that's where the hot tubs came from. And yeah, so. Here they are, they're not getting out of the hot tub as of now, but I'm going to have Nico get out so we can go ahead and do the next mod I will be reviewing. We'll come back to the hot tub in a minute. I want to make sure that the sims stay in there and the mod kind of does what it's supposed to do. So the second mod that I will be showing off today is called the activity chair and in parentheses for any table. It is created by Plastic Box on Mod The Sims. And what it is, let me go ahead and find it. It's under the kids category and under the kids activities sort of category. And it is called the drawing chair. And the description says a chair with drawing supplies that can be used with any table. It's just the chair separated from it. So I have placed a bunch of different dining tables and desks here. And we're going to see if it works with all of these things. I'm not exactly sure. Yes, you will need move objects on. To, I was just reading the thing. You will. Okay, we're going to turn move objects on. There we go. And now we can place it. Alrighty, figured that out. Sorry about that. We're going to go ahead and place that. They do come in a couple different colors. I'll go ahead and look at those in a minute here. But it just goes right here. So, like I just said, you will need to enable the moves, move objects on cheat. So if you don't like using that cheat for some reason, then this mod is probably not a good one for you. Okay. 
And let's go check out some of the colors here. So there's pink, there's a yellow, a blue, an ivory kind of white color, an orange, and a lighter blue. So those are all of the colors it comes in. And get back into gameplay and test this out. So we're going to have Nico come over here and he's going to draw some shapes. And we're going to have him test out all of these. Meanwhile, everyone else is going to stay in the hot tub. Or at least they should because their fun is going up. And come on over here. Oh, it looks like... Is it working? Yes, it does. Looks like it is working. So if you don't want to be confined to just the activity table, you can just get this chair and use whatever dining table or desk that you want to use. Or at least I'm assuming so, unless it doesn't work. It looks like it's working for this dining table. Let's go ahead and try all of these out because I want to make sure that it works with all the tables and so you guys can see it working with a couple different ones. Looks like it is working here. Let's try the next one. If we can. Right here. It is also working on the round table. However, it does kind of cut off a little bit right here. As you can see, the paper is kind of off the table. So if that bothers you, then it might be a little awkward on the round tables. But it works. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter because it does work. And here's a little close-up look of what it looks like. There's a chair and then some glitter and a big ol' jug of glue jug of glue okay and it looks like it works good on this table also okay i have two desks to try this out on so we're going to go ahead and do that let's see if it works because that would be really cool and then you could just use whatever desk you wanted to it does work okay that's really cool so now you don't have to take up a part of your child's room with one of these activity tables you can just use one of these and use a desk and then when they age up into a teen you can just get a different chair and then they can use the desk for like a computer or whatever it just it's a cool little added function i do want to see how expensive it is i didn't look at that I think my phone just got a notification, do excuse that. It's only 65 simoleons, whereas the normal activity table would be 300 simoleons. So you also save quite a bit of money there. Let's just try this one, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Because the other ones have been working so far. Is this one not working? Excuse me? It looks like this one's not working, which is a little odd. Let's see here. Maybe I'll just sell it and try to buy a new one, perhaps. Where was it? Right here. Okay. And I want it in this color. Maybe, I don't know. Let's just... It might be because this desk has this area right here. But we'll go ahead and try it one more time. And see if it works this time, because it didn't look like it was. Uh, for some reason, it looks like this one's not working. Okay, it's working here, so for some reason, it doesn't work with this desk. I don't know why, but it just doesn't. And that's a little overview of both of the mods. Now I'm going to go ahead and rate them. As you can see, they're still in the hot tub. They didn't get out. So, for the hot tub mod... I would say the website is a 10 out of 10. Mod The Sims is a pretty trusted and good website. There's not normally like viruses. It's pretty easy to navigate. So I would definitely recommend Mod The Sims. For the appearance, appearance, if I could speak, that's not really applicable. Ap <laughs> I was going to try to say it. Applicable? You know what I mean? Because it's just, it's a fun game so it doesn't really have an appearance so we're just gonna say na for that the functionality it definitely it does what it says to do their fun is all the way up right now and they haven't been getting out of the hot tub so i would say 10 out of 10 on that how often will i use it well i'll use it every time my sims go into the hot tub so i would say the usefulness is a 10 out of 10 and the overall rating it seems to do what it says to do and there's no glitches that I've seen and they're staying in the hot tub. It really improves the usefulness of the hot tub. So I'm going to say it's a 10 out of 10. Will I keep it in my game? I will in fact keep it in my game until there is a patch update where the fun for hot tubs is increased. Now for the activity chair things. 
The website, again, it's about The Sims, 10 out of 10. The appearance, it looks nice. I mean, it doesn't look glitchy. It looks like it belongs in The Sims 4, so we'll go ahead and give that a 10 out of 10. However, I don't know if I would count this appearance, but kind of you do have to use the move objects cheap for that. So maybe we'll give it a 9 out of 10. We're going to give it a 9 out of 10 just for that. Cause that's kind of kind of an appearance thing. Anyway, next is functionality. Does it work? It seems like it worked most of the time. It just didn't work for this one desk right here, which is a little strange. I'm not exactly sure why. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9 out of 10 on that. The usefulness, how often will I use it? Uh, I'll use it whenever I have a, a child sim who wants to learn creativity. So I'm going to go ahead and give that an 8 out of 10. Because that's often. It would probably be cool to put in like a school too. That's an interesting idea. I'll have to think about doing that. But anyway, the overall rating, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9 out of 10. Just because there does seem to be a little bit of a bug with this desk. And the fact that you have to use the move objects cheat. Some people won't really like. Will I keep it in my game? I think I will keep it in my game for the time being. But if I'm seeing that I'm not really using it that often, then I'll take it out. But I think it is quite a useful mod. And that is it for the first installment of a mod review on Monday. Like I said in the beginning, if you have any mods that you would like to see be it reviewed, then you can go ahead and comment them down below or tweet them at me, whatever you prefer. And I think I'm going to be doing this either every Monday or every other Monday, depending on if there are mods that I want to review. And yes, like I said, link to both of these mods will be in the description if you would like to download them. And make sure to subscribe, I will talk to you all later, and yeah, bye!